Hello and welcome to Advent Prayer for Monday the 7th of December. As we start to remember God's presence with us now, symbolised by the candles. In this season of Advent, <coughs> we're here to watch and wait and pray for the coming of light into the world. We long for the day when the things of darkness, selfishness and greed, suffering and oppression shall be no more. Heavenly Father, light up the past that we might learn from it and be thankful. Light up the present that we might live in it with love. Light up the future we might prepare for it in hope as we watch and wait and pray. May we be ready to encounter you, Lord, and make space for you in our lives. So, as I've said before, we our longing for God to come can be turned to intercession. So take a moment to consider what you long for, for our local church. And on a practical level, I'm just longing for um, for getting the toilets uh, put in uh, in Dronfield Parish Church. Uh, I'm longing for the right way forward for the life project uh, and the future of our church halls, that they can be a blessing rather than a worry. More than that, I'm longing uh, for the right way to share our faith, to bring God's light, God's healing, for good ways of working together. I'm longing for more joy, more peace more healing where there's been division. Jesus, light of the world, shine on us and through us. So take a moment to look back at the last 24 hours and give thanks for all that has been good. And I'm recording it in advance, but I do give thanks that we can meet in our churches again, that we well, can have a limited Chris Stingle in church and we can go online. I give thanks for the team that makes that possible. Thanks for the opportunities to see people face to face. So too, Father, we pray for your healing the things that have made us sad. For those on our hearts this day. Jesus, light of the world, shine on us and through us. Consider the day ahead of you, what you're looking forward to and what worries you. Let us offer to God what we can and trust him to provide what we need. God of the prophets, come to us again this Advent. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light upon our paths. Amen. Last week we looked at Psalms, Psalms of longing. This week we're starting with Old Testament readings, readings of hope from Jeremiah chapter 31. At that time, declares the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel and they will be my people. This is what the Lord says. The people who survive the sword 
will find favour in the wilderness. I will come to give rest to Israel. The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. I will build you up again, and you, virgin Israel, will be rebuilt. Again, you will take up your timbrels and dance with the joyful. Again, you will plant vineyards on the hills of Samaria. The farmers will plant them and enjoy their fruit. There will be a day when watchmen cry out on the hills of Ephraim, Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. The prophet Jeremiah was around at the time when Israel was about to go into exile. Lots of Jeremiah is full of bad news and warnings. But particularly chapter 31 are just words of extraordinary hope. At the time, the nation of Israel had been divided from just after Solomon. Israel or Samaria had separated from Judah just the tribes of Judah and Benjamin uh, and the Levites. Part of this vision is a time when Samaria will be welcomed back into the whole of Israel, unity again. All of the children of Israel will be united. The vineyards will be planted on the hills of Samaria as part of Israel. On the hills of Ephraim. And of course, what God had planned through Jesus was even more wonderful, not just to bring back the Samaritans, but all the world into his kingdom, his family. And yet, of course, there is still division. It leads me to cry to God for unity in the church, locally, nationally, internationally. And for the good news to go to all. Lord, we come with you with hope and with longing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Part of that longing is preparing ourselves, repentance. So we say together, Almighty God, Purify our hearts and minds, that when your Son, Jesus Christ, comes again as Judge and Saviour, we may be ready to receive him, who is our Lord and our God. Amen. Christ, light of the world, scatter our darkness. Let your healing spring up with the dawn. In the darkness around us. Let us, as your church, be a still place of light, a still place of love, a still place of peace, a still place of your presence. From here, Lord, from this place, through us, may your light flow, may your love radiate, may your peace reach out, may your presence be known. Let your light shine, let your love enfold. Let your peace fill. Let your presence be known. We pray with confidence. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. So may Christ, the son of righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, rest upon you and be with you, today and forever. Amen. Thank you for praying with me and bye-bye.